Welcome to another screencast where I'll be talking about uh, blood pressure, specifically how to measure the blood pressure. Um, in previous screencasts, we had uh, looked at what blood pressure is, uh, factors affecting the blood pressure, right, and uh, pulse and the pulse points. So this one, uh, by the end, you should just be able to basically understand, describe and explain how blood pressure is taken or measured. Okay, so let's get started here. A quick review uh, just about blood pressure. Pardon me, each time the uh, left ventricle undergoes systole, it's going to be pushing uh, blood out into the systemic circuit. And so here is our heart, blood being pumped out of the, out of the left ventricle into the aorta and then into uh, these arteries of the, the systemic circuit. The main artery that is used here to take the blood pressure in, in adults is going to be the brachial artery right here in the arm. Okay? <coughs> so, uh, as the left ventricle undergoes uh, systole, blood is squeezed into that brachial artery right, and the pressure is going to increase right, as you bring uh, more blood right, into, into here. This exerts a greater pressure uh, than under diastole, diastole here. Right. And so this pre these pressure changes can be, can be detected and, and measured right, using a uh, sphygmomanometer which is the fancy name for a blood pressure cuff. So blood pressure can be uh, measured using a sphygmomanometer. Right? Sphygmomanometer is how you say that. So uh, <coughs> if we start uh, our on here on the left and work our way to the right. So again, here we've identified our uh, brachial artery in the arm. This is just uh, proximal to the popliteal area. The blood pressure, uh, 120 uh, systolic over 70 diastolic. So this is how uh, we're going to try to try to measure this. Right? So this is these are what the numbers are when they say your blood pressure is 120 over 70. Right? So 120 represents the uh, systolic pressure and the 70 represents the diastolic pressure. Right? So in order to do this you uh, place the cuff snugly around the arm and uh, this is a bulb and there's a valve right here. Right? And initially, the valve, you want this valve to be closed. Right? And when that valve is closed, you uh, pump up, pump the ball. You're going to pump pressure into the cuff. And that pressure in the cuff is going to occlude or stop blood from flowing into that brachial artery right here. So this pressure stops any blood flow there. Right? So the pressure of the cuff has got to be above 120. Um, and <coughs> you're not going to be any be able to hear any sounds uh, through the stethoscope. Now, this is a tricky part when you're actually learn first learning how to do this. Putting the cuff on and blowing it up to over 120 millimeters of mercury is easy. Um, <coughs> but the, tough, the tougher part is uh, using the stethoscope to uh, listen for any sounds of the blood flowing back through that artery. Right? So what happens is, uh, when you get that p pressure up above 120 uh, millimeters of mercury, you're then going to uh, uh, stop pumping and you open the valve slowly to release pressure. So some of that pressure that's in the cuff will then come out here and there's a little valve and you'll hear the air leaking out. You want to do that slowly and as you do that slowly, uh, the heart is still pumping, and that blood is then going to rush back into this artery. And as it rushes in, it's going to make a sound. And each time the heart on the left ventricle undergoes systole, you're going to get more blood flowing through there, right? and you'll be able to see little ticks um, on the the uh, the gauge. Right? The pressure will begin to drop on the gauge. It'll drop and go down, and then go up, and then drop and go up, and drop and go up, and drop and go up, and drop and go up. Right? So it's down and it'll briefly stop, maybe go back up and stop and go back up and stop and go back up and stop and go back up, stop and go back up and then finally just continue dropping as you release the pressure. So you're going to release the pressure slowly, listen for that first heart sound. Right? So when you hear the first heart sound, uh, <coughs> you want to look at, the, mo at the, uh, the gauge and record where that is. So the first heart sound, right, you hear it and then you would say, okay, it was at 120 millimeters of mercury and then you keep letting, letting the uh, air out and as that pressure goes away the heart sounds will begin to fade away and the very last sound you hear you want to take a look and, and measure 
where you hear the last heart sound. Right? And then that would be the diastolic pressure. Okay? So pressure in the cuff below 70, no sounds audible, and then that would be your diastolic pressure. Okay? So it's actually relatively easy to do. The, again, the hardest part is going to be hearing the sounds. Highly recommend you running the PowerPoint and taking a look at both of those uh, tutorials um, on your own. Okay. So there we go. A quick little screencast about uh, the basics of how to use this FIG momentometer and uh, how the blood pressure is taken or measured. Thanks for listening. Come to class and we'll give it a shot.